This week's Song Surgeon video tutorial is on Song Surgeon and iTunes. If I've had this question once, I've had it a hundred times on the help desk, and that is, how do I get a song from iTunes into Song Surgeon and back into iTunes? And I have written responses to that probably an equal number of times. I've really never made a video because it's no different than getting a song into Song Surgeon from any other location on your computer. Uh, there's nothing about iTunes that makes it special, but since this question continues to come up, I thought finally I should just address it in a video. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So like any file on your computer that you want to open, you start with the open button, we click it, and it gives us a typical Windows dialog box. Now, let me stop and for a second simply say, if you're on a Mac, obviously it looks a little different, but the concept is the same, which is that you're going to go to your iTunes folder and select a song. And so that's all we're going to do in Windows as well. It opens a Windows dialog. From here, on a Windows machine, typically you're going to go to, and it depends on what flavor of the operating system, but let's just take Windows 7, which I think is probably one of the most common now. Go to your Libraries folder, then go to Music or My Music, and in here you'll see iTunes. And this is the folder that's created by iTunes when it's installed on your computer. And within iTunes, you've got iTunes Media, Album Artwork, you're going to go to Media. And then within Media, you're going to go to Music. And then within Music, you're probably going to see a series of folders each of which is for an artist, and within those folders then there are songs. So, in this case I am in a, a folder from the music group Alabama, a country music group, and they're back from the, I think, the late 80s and 90s. Um, in their greatest hits, we're going to select this tune called Born Country. You can hear it start to play. I'm going to go ahead and click open. And there you go. We now have this song from your iTunes library open in Song Surgeon. It's really that simple. Now, let's say that you want to make some changes to this for whatever reason. Assume not probably for listening purposes because you probably like the commercial version, but let's say you're learning this song and you want to slow it down to 50% or you want to change the key slightly or who knows what. But you get to the point that you've made those modifications within Song Surgeon by using your tempo change or your pitch change down here. And then you want to save this back to iTunes, which is really the other half of the question. So the first thing you do is you want to make those changes permanent. So you're going to export the entire song. And when you export it, again, notice in Song Surgeon, it goes to a Song Surgeon 3 folder, which is in your My Documents folder, and then it goes into the Export folder. And um, the song is Born Country but you've made a modification, so you probably want to give it a slightly different name, like One, Born Country One, or something like that, so it has a different name than the original. And the other thing that you do then is you select the file type here. Um, I'm not going to select WAVE because although that's a great quality, it gives you uh, very large file sizes. I'm going to select an MP3 file, or you could select an M4A file, which is actually what this file was when we opened it doesn't really matter. Um, both of those are compressed formats. Both of those formats will play just fine in iTunes. So I'm selecting MP3, Born Country 1. I'm going to save it. It's asking me now for the MP3 quality settings. I've set up a default here. So it will save it at 192 kilobits. Select OK. As you can see, it's working down here to export. The export is complete. And now whatever changes we made to this song are now permanent and they're saved in this new file. Okay, so this is the first step and the second step. The last step then is how to get this song back into iTunes. And that's what we're going to look at next. Okay, so as you can see, I have now switched Windows from Song Surgeon to iTunes. 
and I have my iTunes music library open on the screen. You can see it here. And so the question then that we are yet to answer, the last step in this process is how do I get the song that I've changed back into iTunes? And what you can simply do is go to File, and then go Add File to Library. Select that. Um, it's going to open up, again, a Windows dialog. You need now to go to where this file is located. And remember, it was in My Documents, Song Surgeon 3, in the Export folder. So that's what we need to do next, is find the Export folder. And here is the export folder, so if we select it, and then we look for this song called Born Country 1, there it is. So we select it, we select Open. It now adds that song back to uh, the iTunes library. And the next time then that you hook your iPod or your iPhone up, once you sync it, it will then place that song back on your phone or back on your iPod. So that's really it. Those are the steps from opening Song Surgeon to opening the file to exporting it and then to pulling it back into the iTunes library.